Ευλογητός ο Θεός ημών πάντοτε νυν και αη και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. O come, let us worship and bow down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ the King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, who coverest thyself with light as with a garment, who stretchest out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth and the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is his mantle. Upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee. At the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appoint, appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys. Between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge. From the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor, until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation. So is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon whom thou wast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. Oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knoweth his going down. O thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Archbishop Elpido Foros, for the honorable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and all people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, for the president, for the armed forces, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Υπέρ της Αγίας του Χριστού Μεγάλης Εκκλησίας, της Ιεράς Σιμών Αρχιεπίσκοπης, της πόλεως και κοινότητος ταύτης, 
πάσης πόλεως χώρας και τον πίστικούν τον εν αυτές του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ ευκρασίας αέρων εφορίας των καρπών της γης και καιρών ειρηνικών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησον. Υπέρ πλέον των οδηπορούν των νοσούν των καμνών των εκμαλώτων και της σωτηρίας αυτών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησον. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the most saints, the let us commit ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
σε το τάιμα τη αμμοέαστη και επί των ημάτισμων μου έβαλον κλήρων. Λαό δυσεβή και παρανόμο είναι να Την ζωή των απάντων θανάτω κατεδίκασε με γαθάμα ότι ο κτίστη του κόσμου ισχύρα σαν And he shall redeem Israel from all his transgressions. The blameless virgin was watching as you were suspended on the cross today. O word of God, she lamented with motherly emotions, and it cruelly broke her heart. She sighed with pain from the depths of her soul, tearing at her face and her hair, and it wore her out. Then beating her breast, she mournfully cried aloud, Woe is me, my divine child. Alas, the light of the world, why did you sink from before my eyes, O Lamb of God? Then the host of bodiless angels were overcome by trembling, and they said, Incomprehensible Lord, glory to you. Menite ton girion panda ta ethni, epenesate athon, Πάντες οι λαοί επί ξύλου βλέπουσα κρεμάμενον Χριστέ σε τον πάντον κτίστην και Θεόν Ισαι ως πόρος τεκούσα Εβώ Oh, 
seen. For his mercy rules over us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Today the master of creation stands before Pilate, the creator of all, is delivered to be crucified like a lamb he is brought of his own. Please, God. 
Υπουργών των Ευεργέτην ως παρανόμων των ομοδότην ως κατακρίτων των πάντων βασιλέων μακροθύμε Κύριε εδώ ο And to the ages of ages, Amen. Awesome and paradoxical is the mystery. That we see unfolding in today, he who is untouchable is now arrested. He who releases Adam from the is taken prisoner. He who searches and tries the hearts and minds is unjustly put on trial. And he Shut the abyss is locked up in a prison before the Lord now stands he before whom the hosts of heaven stand and tremble. The fashioner is struck by the hand of one he fashioned. Condemned to a cross is he who judges the living and the dead in And you saved us all from the curse, O long suffering Lord, nor glory to you. Sophia Orthi Fossilaron Aeneas Doxis Athanatu Patros Urani Aeneas Oh, uh -huh.
From Exodus. Let us be attentive. Thus the Lord spoke to Moses face to face, as a man speaks to his friend. Then he would return to the camp, but his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, did not depart from the tabernacle. Then Moses said to the Lord, Behold, you say to me, Bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you above all, and you have also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray, if I have found grace in your sight, reveal yourself to me, that I may see you clearly and find grace in your sight, and know this great nation is your people. So he said, I myself will go before you and give you rest. Then he said to him, if you yourself do not go up with us, do not bring us up from here, for how then will it be know that your people and I found grace in your sight, except you go with us? So both I and your people shall be glorified beyond all the nations on the earth. The Lord then said to Moses, I will also do this thing you have spoken, for you have found grace in my sight, and I know you above all. Moses replied, Reveal yourself to me. Then God said, I will pass before you in my glory, and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, before you. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, You cannot see my face, for no man can see my face and live. Moreover, the Lord said, Here is a place by me. You shall stand on the rock. So it shall be while my glory passes by that I will put you in the cleft of the rock and will cover you with my hand while I pass by. Then I will take away my hand and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. O Lord, judge those who injure me. They repaid me evil for good. The reading is from the book of Job. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Now the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. He had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters. And he named the first Day, the second Cassia, and the third Amalthea's Horn. 
In all the land there were found no women so beautiful as the daughters of Job, and their father gave them an inheritance among their brothers. After this affliction, Job lived 170 years, and all the years he lived were 248. And Job saw his children and grandchildren for four generations. So Job died, old and full of days. It is written that he will rise with those whom the Lord resurrects. This man is described in the Syriac book as living in the land of Afsitis, in the, on the border of Edom and Arabia. Previously, his name was Jobab. He took an Arabian wife and begot a son named Enon, but he himself was the son of his father Zer, one of the sons of Esau, and of his mother Bosora. Thus he was the fifth son from Abraham. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Thus says the Lord, Behold, my servant shall have wisdom, and he shall be exalted and glorified exceedingly. Just as many shall be astonished at you, so your form and glory shall be dishonored by men. Thus many nations shall marvel at him, and kings shall shut their mouth, because they to whom no report was brought concerning him shall see, and they who did not hear shall understand. O Lord, who has believed our report, and to whom was the arm of the Lord revealed? We proclaimed his presence as a child, as a root in the thirsty land. He had no form or glory, and we saw him, and he had no form or beauty. But in comparison to all men, his form was lacking in honor. He was a man in suffering and knew how to bear sickness. His face was turned away, and he was dishonored and not esteemed. He bears our sins and suffers for us, yet we considered him to be in pain, suffering, and ill treatment. But he was wounded because of our lawlessness and became sick because of our sins. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his bruise we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. Man has gone astray in his way, and the Lord delivered him over for our sins. Although he was ill-treated, he opened not his mouth. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb is silent before his shearers, so he opens not his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away, and who will declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth, and because of the lawlessness of my people, he was led to death. I will appoint evil men for his burial, and rich men for his death, because he committed no lawlessness, nor was deceit found in his mouth. The Lord wishes to cleanse him of his wound, and if you give an offering for sin, your soul shall see a long-lived seed. The Lord wishes to take away the pain of his soul, to show him light, to form him with understanding, and to pronounce righteous the righteous one who serves many well, and he shall bear their sins. Therefore he shall inherit many, and will divide the spoil with the strong, because his soul was delivered over to death. He was considered among the lawless, and he bore the sins of many, and was delivered over because of their sins. Be glad, O barren woman who does not bear. Break forth and cry out, you who are not in travail. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married woman. Let us be attentive. No. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places and in the shadow of death. O Lord of God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the cleverness of the clever I will thwart. Where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom, it pleased God through the folly of what we preach to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks seek wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. 
For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For consider your call, brethren. Not many of you were wise according to worldly standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, even things that are not, to bring to nothing things that are, so that no human being might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let him who boasts, boast of the Lord. When I came to you, brethren, I did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God in lofty words or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Christ and him crucified. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Sophia Orthi Acusumen to Ayu Evangeliu Irini Pasi Ek to Cata Mateo Evangelio to Anagnos Ma Proscome To Kero Equino Simvulion Elavon Pandes Yarcheris και οι πρεσβύτεροι του λαού κατά του Ιησού, ώστε θανατώσεθ Αυτόν, και δίσαντες Αυτόν απίγαγον και παρέδοκεν Αυτόν ποντίου Πιλάτο το ηγεμόνι. Τότε ειδών Ιούδας ο παραδιδούς Αυτόν ότι κατεκρίθη. Μεταμελεθείς απέστρεψε τα τριάκοντα αργύρια της αρχιερεύση και της πρεσβυτέρης λέγον, Ήμαρ τον παραδούς αίμα αθώων. Οι δε είπων, τι πρόσημας, σι όψι. Και ρίψας τα αργυρία, εν το ναό ανεχώρησε, και απελθών απίνξατο. Οι δε αρχιερείς λαβώντες τα αργυρία, είπων, ουκ έξεστη βαλήν αυτά εις τον κορβανάν, επί τιμή αίματος εστί. Συμβούλιον δε λαβώντες ηγόρασαν εξ αυτών των αγρών του κεραμαίος ή τα φήν της ξένης, διοεκλήθη ο αγρός εκείνος αγρός αίματος έως της σήμερον. Τότε πληρώθη το ρηθέν διά ηρεμίου του προφήτου λέγοντες και έλαβον τα τριάκοντα αργύρια την τιμή του τετιμημένου όν ετιμήσαντο από Ιόν Ισραήλ και έδωκαν αυτά εις τον άγρον του κεραμαίος, καθά συνατέξε με Κύριος. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You have said so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge so that the governor wondered greatly. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted, and they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much over him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the people to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. And he said, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. 
Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him, and plating a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat upon him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly. For we are receiving the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now, if he desires him, for he said, I am the Son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, This man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice, and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly this was the Son of God. Since it was the day of preparation in order to prevent the bodies from remaining on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear and at once there came out blood and water. He who saw it has borne witness, his testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth, that you also may believe. For these things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled, not a bone of him shall be broken. And again another scripture says, they shall look on him whom they have pierced. There were also many women there looking on from afar who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him among whom were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. 
he went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud. Opsias de genomenis ilthen anthropos plusios apo arimatheas tonoma iosif ως και αυτός εμαθητήσε το Ιησού, ούτως προσελθόν το Πιλάτο, ητήσατο το σώμα του Ιησού. Τότε ο Πιλάτος εκέλευσεν αποδοθεί το σώμα και λαβών το σώμα ο Ιωσήφ, εν ετήληξεν αυτό συνδόνι καθαρά και έθηκεν αυτό εν το κενό αυτού μνημείο ο ελατόμησεν εν τη πέτρα και προσκλήρισας λίθον μέγαν τη θύρα του μνημείου απήλθεν ειν δε και η Μαρία η Μαγδαληνή και η άλλη Μαρία καθήμενε απέναντι του τάφου. And Joseph laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock, and he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb, and departed. Mary Magdalene, and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the sepulchre. Glory to Thee, O Lord. Glory to Thee. Υπόμεν πάντε εξ όλη τη ψυχή και εξ όλη τη διάνοια ημών. Υπόμεν κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Παντοκράτορο Θεό των Πατέρων ημών, δεο μεθά σου επάκουσον και Λέισον. Ελέισον ημά ο Θεό κατά του μεγαλαιό σου, δεο μεθά σου επάκουσον. Και ελέησον, κύριε ελέησον, κύριε ελέησον. Ελέησον ημά ο Θεό κατά του μεγαλαιό σου, δέο μεθά σου επάκουσον. Και ελέησον, κύριε ελέησον, κύριε ελέησον, κύριε ελέησον. Έτσι δε μεθά υπέρ του αρχιεπισκόπου ημών ελπιδοφόρου. Κύριε ελέησον, κύριε ελέησον, κύριε ελέησον. Έτσι δε μεθά υπέρ των αδελφών ημών των ιερέων ερωμονάχων, ερωδιακόνων και μοναχών και πάση τη εν Χριστό μοναδελφότητο. Again, let us pray for the blessed memory and eternal rest of the founders of this holy church and for all our Orthodox fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters and children who piously lie here in rest and everywhere. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and the remission of the sins of the servants of God, for the parishioners of this cathedral community, the friends, visitors, benefactors to this holy church. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves humankind, and to you we give glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us, for we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, Master, grant me understanding of your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy is forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you is due glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pyrosumen din esperinin dei sinimon to kirio. Kirie eleison. Antilabus osun eleison, ke dia filaxun imaos o Theos. Ισή χάρητη, Κύριε Λέησο, την ημέραν πάσαν τελείαν, Αγίαν ειρηνικήν και αναμάρτητον, παρά του Κυρίου έτησο μεθό. Παράσκου Κύριε, Άγγελον ειρήνης πιστών οδηγών, φύλακα των ψυχών και των σωμάτων ημών, παρά του Κυρίου έτησο μεθό. Παράσκου Κύριε, Συγγνώμη και άφηση των αμαρτιών και των πλημελημάτων ημών, Παρά του Κυρίου έτησο μεθό. Παράσκου Κύριε. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Grant this, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Holy. O Lord, for you, O God, are good and love mankind, and to you we give glory, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and your inheritance. What is true, the awesome and merciful judge that they have bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, expecting not the help from men, but your mercy and anticipating salvation from you. Protect them at all times, both during this present evening and the oncoming night from every adversary and evil operation of the devil, also from vain thoughts and evil deliberations. May the dominion of your kingdom be blessed and glorified of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Καθήλε τι τον απάντων ζωήν, Σμύρνη και συνδόνησε Χριστέ κι δεύσε και το πόθο υπήγε το Καρδία και χείλη, σώμα το ακύρατον σου περιπτύξαστε. Όμως, συστελωμένος φόβο, Φιλάνθρωπ, 
open. The Lord reigns, he clothes himself with majesty. The Lord clothed and girded himself with power. When you, the Redeemer of the world, lay inside a new rock, you sepulchre for the sake of all hate is now humiliated coward seeing you then its bars and the prison gates were shattered and broken, tombs were opened, and the bodies of the dead arose. Then did first formed Adam rejoicing, Gratefully cry out to you, glory to your condescension, Lord who love mankind. Gores tereo sed inicumenin, it is so. Yeah, 
Τον δούλων σου δέσποτα κατά το ρήμα σου εν ειρήνη, ότι είδον οι οφθαλμοί μου το σωτήριόν σου, ο ετοίμα σα κατά πρόσωπον πάντων των λαών, φώση ει αποκάλυψη εθνών και δόξαν λαού σου, Ισραήλ. Now let your servant depart in peace, O Master, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος Ισχυρός, Άγιος ο Θάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος Ισχυρός, Άγιος ο Θάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος Ισχυρός, Άγιος ο Θάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι, και νυν και Αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Παναγία Τριάς ελέησον ημάς, Κύριε ελάσθητη της αμαρτίας ημών, δέσποτα συγχώρησαν τ Άγιε επίσκεψε και ίασε τες ασθενείες ημών, ενε και το όνοματό σου, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι, και νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουρανής, αγιαστήτο το όνομά σου, ελθέτου η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθήτο το θέλημά σου, ως εν ουρανό και επί της γης, τον άρτον ημών των επιούσιων, δώσιμη ως και εμείς αφήνουν τις πλέτες ημών, και εμείς συνέχισε ημάς τις πειρασμών, αλλά ρίξε ημάς από το πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Eusimoniosif, apo tu xilu kathelon, to akrandon susoma. Συνδόνη καθαρά ηλίσα και αρώμαση, εμνήματη καινό, κι δεν σα απέθετο. Unto the murmuring women did the angel cry out as he stood by the grave. Meroils are meet for the dead, but Christ hath proved to be a stranger to corruption. Sophia, Evlogison, O Evlogitos, Christos, O Theos, Simon, Pandute, Ninkei. Και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Δόξα σε ο Θεό, η επίσημη δόξα σε ο Διημά του ανθρώπου και διά την ημετέραν σωτηρία εκουσίω 
υποστάς το φρικτόν πάθος των σταυρών και την ταφήν Χριστός ο λιθινός Θεός ημών the one who for us and for our salvation endured the awful passion the cross and condescended to voluntary entombment in the flesh Christ our true God through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother the power of the precious and life-giving cross the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist the holy glorious and all laudable apostles the holy glorious and victorious martyrs In a few moments, beginning with our youngest pilgrims, we will venerate this epitaphio. And the epitaphio, of course, is the fabric icon depicting Christ being laid in the tomb, or rather, on the funeral bed. And then next to that, at his feet, is, of course, the gospel, the Evangelio, from which we understand the way, the truth, and the life. And I reference us all being pilgrims as we are all on a journey, having begun this more than 40 days ago, and certainly this entrance into the holy city that so many of us shared on Sunday, beginning with our children who proclaimed Hosanna as Christ was entering the holy city, knowing that he was going to his voluntary passion. It seems fitting that this Friday afternoon Apocathilosi service is so often attended by our families and our young ones. And it's a beautiful lesson for them to have and for all of us as adults to be reminded of, of what it is that we do as family. When there's something that's difficult, when there's something sad, and indeed, all of us at one time or another have experienced loss, and some young ones will in the future. And it's part of our Orthodox Christian tradition to confront the reality of our mortality, the reality that indeed this life is a gift and it is precious. And so what family does when there is tragedy or whenever there is some kind of difficulty they come together to experience and share in it. But also we have a hope, not like others who grieve, but a hope in the third day resurrection. And so beginning with our children as a way to visit Christ in Jerusalem, we bring Jerusalem here with the beautiful Orthodox liturgical traditions. And as many who have been to the Holy Land can attest to, in order to get into the tomb of Christ, one has to get very low to the ground and nearly crawl to do so. And so many of our young children, of course, and those young at heart are encouraged to do so safely with the help of adults and other ushers that are present with us as that reminder that we too are going at one time to pass from life to death to new life. And it's fitting again that the children are for us an icon of the hope that we have and of our own goal to become like children to enter into the kingdom to call to mind the purity the sanctifi the sanctification of our own baptism our own participation in Christ's crucifixion but emerging out of those waters on that third time of immersion risen and a new creation may we experience a newness a renewal when we come forward to venerate all through the grace of Almighty God who gave us his son who condescended to endure the persecutions, the betrayal, the crucifixion, but ultimately raises us up with him. May you all have new life as you pass through and venerate the tomb and may we continue to gather as family 
for times that are challenging and also times that are uplifting and beautiful, as they will be beginning with this evening at 7.30, of course, for the Lamentation Service, and then tomorrow, Proto at 10 a.m., and then tomorrow evening at 11 p.m. We hope to see you all to continue what we do as family to celebrate his glorious resurrection.